Hello everyone, it's Andrea. Today I will show you um, how I made um, cards with tags and um, on top I work with a gesso resist technique. It's um, heavy watercolor paper I'm working on. I made this tags and um, stamp with my homemade stamp I made from this uh, crafting foam into gesso and that I stamp onto the watercolor paper on this text and let it dry. I have four different ones but uh, I only can see here this the result. I will only show you two of them um, making all the others you will see, four of them you will see at the end the pictures and um, this I will go on to uh, colorize them with re-inkers, distress re-inkers, different colors. This one is a combination of um, peacock feather, this mustard seed and uh, green, uh, I don't know, more lawn I think I, I used. So I dabbed a bit on my craft mat, spritzed water over it and then I dabbed the watercolor tags into it and let, let it run a bit dried with a heat gun. Here you can see one result and here you can see all four of them after I finished them with the distressing re -ink. And um, I will show you the first two. Here I use this paper art seed as mini stamp, script stamp, to put a bit of a background onto the stamps. I won't do a lot because I think um, the gesso stamping and the re ink colorizing it, it, it's really enough, more than enough. Apart from this one I stamped heavily on that one with the that's the grunge stamp set from Tim Holtz and with the that's um, num the numbers one. And uh, this too, I used my really, really much laughed script stamp from Tim Holtz. It's a reflection script stamp. I really like that. And I use here the second generation stamp in because I didn't want to have it very obvious. Only back in the big, but a bit in the background. Yeah, and that's um, archival ink. The plum, it's plum. I think so. Yeah. And this actually is this pen art, pentel, pentel art or pen art from uh, uh, Martina. I got that. It is this copper, metallic copper, and I stand a little bit on it. And you will see it in the close up. It's really nice and shiny. Yeah, really like that one. Thank you, Martina. And the next thing I'm using is from Martina as well. It's a uh, distress crackle paint from Ranger. I've never used that. It's the first time that I use it. I wanted to find out how it reacts and how it looks like. And I must say it's really nice. Crackles nicely. Okay, it depends on how thick you put the layer on. And I thought the color goes quite good with that one. And it doesn't need a long, long time to dry. It dries quite quickly. So, and here I try to assemble all my embellishment on that tag. Yeah, I use, um, I torn um, some, um, it's a paper, it was a paperback actually and had this shiny side and I really like that. I crumbled it and um, used a stapler to put it on and try to find out how it would look like. And this washer you can see actually, that's the first time I used uh, this um, rusting method uh, from this video I saw, Martina sent me the link and it's a very easy method to do. You need only a um, combination of bleach and white vinegar, very cheap vinegar, nothing special. And I put together half and half and then put these washers in and they rust so, so quickly. That's really a good thing. Um, what you have to look into is you can peel off the rust so you have to fix it a bit. I sprayed over a bit of fixative, nothing. I think I used even our spray, I can't remember actually. And that will leave it on. And um, to have a bit of contrast, I put some gesso on 
that bit and a bit on the on the edges and because I use the the distress reinker it will soak up a bit of the ink but um, it gives a bit of texture anyway that's okay and um, this is um, a ticket I distress the edges a bit and uh, go over it with my uh, with vintage photo distress ink I think yeah and um, try and <sighs> I didn't show that. I'm trying really a lot to to assemble it again to try to find out what I will put on and oh here I found um, something in my treasure box. It's a piece of of of, of uh, uh, this metal tape I put on paper and ran through with an embossing foil or through the machine and I thought that would look nice on it but I decided against it and and uh, I tore it off again, so you will see that afterwards. Luckily, it was wasn't really uh, didn't dry, and uh, I could tear it off quite easily. And um, because I look, it looked a bit too too clean to me. I really wanted to have this, especially this tag, very very distressed, and it looked really too clean. Still trying to find out how to assemble everything, and this. Thing, what you can see is actually a bookmark I found in a book, a second-hand book I, I bought for, I don't know, for nothing actually. From, it was from 1960 or so and sometimes you find these little things in books, little notes and bookmarks and that's quite nice. Yeah, here you can see me that I remove it again and put this one. I put some um, alcohol inks on top in copper that works much much nicer like it much more and this is the little bit or the other stuff I think I glued down already and I used of course um, glossy accent and oh this is my Lumiere paint I got from Martina I can't get it here so Martina can um, order it and she sent it to me and I'm so happy about them thank you thank you thank you Martina they are fantastic. I love them. They are so, so nice. I really tried them on gessoed page, on, on ungessoed page, and with water. Even you can you can mix them with water. They are still so, so bright and so rich. Absolutely fantastic. And um, I put one of these eyelets on with my cropper dial. Love that tool, actually, as well. And um, I had to put the hole in first. And then I had a look for the right um, ribbon. And I used this one. And I thought it might be a good idea to use the stapler to put it together. But I remove it afterwards because uh, I wanted to have it even more, a bit rougher. And I used uh, a string and uh, wrapped it around and that wasn't working with this staple things so I removed them and um, yeah that was much nicer yeah here you can see me no that's not working remove it and uh, put the string around then and that's a proper boys card then um, I remove the bow no that's not boyish no remove the bow come on yeah good so, and um, cut it down. I think that's this card. Yeah, I finished the tag and now I met it down to the card. And here, this um, water paper collar actually, I used the leftover ink on my craft mat and wiped it through that. And I use it now for the card. Very easy, nothing fancy on that um, bit. I um, use, because of the heavy watercolor paper actually, I use uh, foam tape. And because I'm always a bit, uh, I, I don't trust this ones. Often they, they get loose and I don't want, definitely don't want to have a card falling apart when people get them. So I really double glue them to make sure they will stick. And the card or the tag is going on top. And that's the card glued it down with glossy accent actually it's really really heavy that tag with all the metal on top 
And here I show you the second one. Um, uh, this bird, uh, it's fu I fuzzy cut it. I got it, it was a freebie paper I got from some magazine. I can't remember actually. I didn't like the tag it was on. It looked a bit yeah cheesy actually. But I liked the bird. So I cut that out and it goes now on or afterwards on that tag. You could see the, the crackles, they were really nice, but I wanted to accentuate them and used um, this distress stain in black suit and that brings the crackles out really nicely. So, um, of course I had the distress stain handy, I used it for the edges <coughs> and then the, boy, the, the, the bird goes on top and it's a bit um, um, off the page or off the tag and because it, I think it looks much nicer because the tag goes onto the card and it looks a bit, um, um, yeah, what does it look like? You know what I mean. Oh, yeah, my wording, that is um, a so-called kitchen poetry or kulsha no not kitchen um fridge poetry it um has words in uh, magnetic words and you can build sentence with that and and um stick it uh, to the fridge to leave messages you know in the old days where you didn't have uh, this cell phones mobiles whatever so i had it since since ages, never used it, and uh, I thought I found it by because I cleared our cellar. Yeah, that's right, and I think that makes nice wordings on my stuff here. And here, this watercolor paper, it's much thinner, it's uh, where I wiped the paint off or the, the inks off as well. I met it onto the card base. Glue it down simply because it's very thin. It's uh, uh, easy to glue it down. But I use foam pads here on the tag, and as you can see, I double glue it. I'm mm, I really don't trust that stuff. And then yeah, I decided the little guy needs a bit of shading. That's what I did, and I think. That's basically it. I will show you the cards at the end. The other two I didn't show the process. You can see as well. And um, actually, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you, you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you with my next video then. Have a nice day. It's boiling hot here actually. Fantastic weather. And I go out again. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.